Welcome to this demo of GoZinc, our offline framework for FileMaker Go. So we've opened up seed code complete uh, here from our server, and we want to make some invoices, but we don't want to have to open this file to make them. We want to make them in FileMaker Go in a local file because we might not have an internet connection. So we're going to make those invoices and then send them to the server. Let's check it out. So I'm going to open up the iPad and open a file called mobile in FileMaker Go. This is an example file that ships with our GoZinc framework. And you can see here that we have some invoices and we have a really nice layout that's kind of optimized to behave well in Go. Um, again, this is just built in FileMaker Pro, running in Go, really easy to modify. And I can make new invoices, right, by typing John in here, um, you know, just clicking the plus arrow. But it's a little cumbersome in a mobile file. So fortunately, I've got a server-side script that has sent me some information about the people I might want to invoice. So let's take a look at that. I've opened up mail and FileMaker server has emailed me a list of the people who are in Portland that I might want to visit. And I've got a server-side script running this every morning. So I'm just going to click on one of these links and it's going to make a new invoice for this person in that mobile file. Again, all working offline. So here comes a new invoice for Susan, which is great. And now I can sell her a few things. So the file's got a price list in it. And I'm going to sell a couple of my things and a couple of another item. Let's find this here, maybe two of these. Great. Again, this is all configurable in FileMaker Pro. So that's good, but I want some proof of what we did here. I'm down in our basement. I want to take some photographs of the work we did. Um, so let's uh, say that these are going to be the before photos, and these are the afters. And I've uh, taken some pictures with the iPad 2 here, and I'm going to select them from our photo library. You can shoot right into these container fields. But it's a little faster to just shoot into your library and then pick the best shots and add them here. And again, up to you how many photos you have. So here we go, after. So I've done some major improvements here. Let's get her to sign off on it. And I'm just using my finger to sign this. Go sign is built in here. Click Accept. And again, this is all running offline in FileMaker Go. And now that I've built that invoice, I can either make more and upload them all to my server or just upload one of them. So I'll click upload here and we're going to send this one invoice up to our server. This is using Todd Geist's transaction framework. So even if we drop connection in the middle of uploading a bunch of invoices, they're all going to be OK. So it looked like one made it. That's great. Let's click OK. And once this is uploaded, we're going to take a look at it on FileMaker Pro server. So now that it's done, that's great. Let's switch over to FileMaker Pro and open up the file that we sent that invoice to because we don't connect directly to seed code complete. We're connecting to an intermediate file, which is much safer. And it also lets you do things like process the records or process dupes. So here's our intermediary file called Server Zinc. You see process automatically is set to off and I'm going to process this one invoice. Select it, click process. Let's uh, take a look at our found set here. We've got nine records. And again, this part is also transactional. So these commits either go in their entirety or the invoice and all its line items, photos, and signatures is not sent. So we got one run successfully, which is great. Let's click OK and take a look at that thing. So we have a new record down here. Let's click on it. And you'll see that we've got our line items, our $22,000, our photographs. Here's our first and here's our second and our signature all made it over to FileMaker Pro from an offline copy of FileMaker Go. So let's turn back to the iPad for a second. GoZinc's got one more trick up its sleeve. I'm going to delete a couple of records here. The solution, I mean, you can control the scripting, but it currently won't let you process, do anything if you have unprocessed records. Um, you know, I didn't have to bring the file back to the office and use a copy of iTunes to send my invoices up. And I don't need to use iTunes to get a new copy of this mobile file. File management is built into GoZinc, so you can prep and upload new files and then let your users download them. So we're going to download a new copy of the mobile file. Click OK. And this may have in it records. It may have a new price list. It may have um, a list of the people that I need to go see that day. If I'm a plumber or a technician, the folks I need to visit. So here's my new build, which is great. We're going to clean up the connection. Um, so we're managing both sides of this, both getting the records down from the server and getting files down from the server and sending data and records up to the server. I hope you're as psyched about this as we are. Offline access for FileMaker Go.